I changed Survivor. About five weeks ago, I wrote into Reddit and I posted the, I had a gut feeling about this topic and I just knew it would be something that would be, would, would be correct. And it was about where in the reward challenges and immunity challenges, Jeff says, you know, come on in guys. So I posted in Reddit, I said, hey, wouldn't it be good to discuss this, that, that by Jeff saying come on in guys, he's being discriminatory. And pretty much most people's responses were were neutrally ne- leaning to negative or very negative or some people just outright trolled me. And it became so negative that I actually deleted the post. Um, and I was getting so many, obviously, um, people replying in my thing and it got just too negative and I don't like negativity. So I went and deleted the original post and blocked a few people. So, so basically my reasoning was is that by Jeff saying common in guys, it's it's discriminatory. Like obviously the show was started twenty years ago, and that was probably Jeff's natural vernacular to say come on in guys. And that's I've said it myself to guys and girls. However, nowadays in the modern uh, era of Survivor, and uh, you know a couple of seasons ago with everything that happened with Dan and Kelly, and I'm not saying whether you know whether I agree or disagree with anything that happened. I'm just pointing out that Survivor made a stand by publicly backing Kelly and I knew that if I suggested that in the public forum of Survivor which obviously they have CBS as staff members who keep an eye on that and keep an eye on they take feedback and they get some feedback on what's been happening in the show and ideas I knew that if I posted that publicly and read it they would have to change it Jeff would have to change it from come on in guys to come on in people you know or to come on in or whatever it was, he had to change it to be consistent with the the actions they'd taken in that season 39. And I found out today when I looked at Reddit and I saw that the first episode of this new season 41 of Survivor, Jeff had said, come on in, instead of come on in, guys. I absolutely knew it. I knew they'd have to change it. Once it had been made public and once it had been brought to their attention about it potentially being discriminatory language, they'd have to change it. And they did. Unfortunately, I did delete the original uh, post that I made on Reddit. And I went back searching for it. I couldn't find it. It had been deleted. I, I did take a snapshot of it. I, just, I, I don't know where it is. Probably on my phone. I thought I did email it to myself. But I still have, proof I have, is the responses, uh, the thread responses of people into my inbox and activity in response to my my post about Jeff saying, you know, come on in guys being discriminatory. Um, and I've got those responses and I'm going to show them to show them to you in a moment. Now, it's not just discriminatory, come on in guys. Guys is like if you... You know, I work in the field of working with the unconscious mind and come on in guys. If you've got a group of ladies and a group of gentlemen, a group of men and a group of women, guys and girls, and you, and they're about to go on a challenge, which is about reward and about winning the game of Survivor, moving yourself forward in the game of Survivor. And you've got both sexes, both genders, and you say, come on in guys. Unconsciously, unconsciously, what I'm talking about with language, it frames the challenge. It frames that the guys or the males the gentlemen are more welcome than the females. Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying if we look at it on an unconscious level. So maybe if you look at the history of reward challenge and immunity challenges, you know, I am sure, I'm pretty sure from what I've watched, and I've watched a lot of seasons, that there'll be more men winning those individual immunity challenges or those reward challenges than women. I think it'll be subtly more. And... I don't know whether it's it's definitely not a strength thing. It's definitely not, you know, it's just, I just noticed that it's more men, slightly, slightly winning more than women in those sort of um, tricky challenges. And I thought perhaps, hey, this language is, could be unconsciously contributing to that. Now, I'm not saying this is a, just, you know, a, a passerby. I actually really work in the field of the unconscious mind and I'm very sensitive to how language frames our paradigm of reality, how language frames and shapes the reality that we live in, or the illusion that we live in. So I'm going to show you these comments, and um, yeah, I changed Survivor, and now when I look at 
survivor and you know I, and it just ha- blows my mind that how bringing that up and now Jeff says you know come on in I've changed the future of the game and I've changed the future experience in the paradigm of survivor just by changing but by, by pulling out the word guys or suggesting that they pull out the word guys because it's potentially discriminatory out of that s- saying come on in guys to make it come on in it's, it's shifted the paradigm very subtly for the experience of millions of Survivor fans worldwide. So here's the comments. You can read them yourself. Obviously, I did block um, and delete one or two that were quite rude. Um, and I, yeah. So anyway, it's, a, it's just for me personally to show you. And I wish I'd kept the original one, but I was just quite distressed when I got so much negativity about it. And yeah, I've changed the game of Survivor. I've changed it forever. Love, joy, peace, divinity, and blessings to you. Please think about subscribing. Thank you.